What else was purchased on that Amazon account? A, a PS4, PlayStation 4. When was the PlayStation 4 purchased? Like sometime in July. And where is that PlayStation? Well, he actually ended up canceling the purchase. So he had placed his information on my Amazon account because I told him, you know, I wanted a PS4. He agreed to get it for me so that way if he came over to my house, we could play. And um, then we got into a petty argument. He actually canceled the purchase. So, so just I a second. It. So the PlayStation was canceled? Yes. And on August 10th, you used that Amazon account to purchase a mattress. With his consent, yes, ma'am. Just a second. That's what you say. Tell me about it. Um, August 10th. We're talking about the same month that you say that you were sort of fed up with him and it wasn't working out for you. So tell me about the mattress purchase. I know he cared about me because when I told No, don't him tell me what you know. That goes to the operation of his mind. Correct. Just tell me about the mattress purchase. Okay. We had been discussing that for a couple weeks prior to the actual purchase about him liking the mattress and wanting me to get one also. So Liking uh, what mattress? It's called a purple mattress. He claimed it to be the, the best mar uh, mattress on the market out there and he really wanted me to get one. Okay, hold I on a second. Yes, Sir, what kind of mattress do you have in your house? I have a purple mattress, Your Honor. Okay, so you were discussing uh, these purple mattresses. Yeah, and not last she said. We're, I was just commenting how good it was. Commenting? Right. right. So that's a discussion. Yes, Your Honor. I have to tell you something. I've been married to my husband for 40 years. We talk about a lot of things. I don't think we've ever discussed a brand name of mattress. <laughs> Do you discuss brand names of mattresses? Yes, yes I have. <laughs> I, just not something that I see talking about with somebody I know for three weeks. Your Honor, well, uh, it's just the type of people we are. We're really big on our health and sleep, and uh, it matters how we sleep. So you're into health? Yes, yes, Your Honor. And good sleep? Yes, Your Honor. Tell me about your apartment. I don't have an apartment. I. Uh, currently live at a residence. What kind of a residence? It's a house. You rent a room? No, Your Honor, it's a residence. I live with my little, my younger brother and uh, a couple of family members. So you live people. home? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, well, why didn't you just say that? So you live at home with yeah, your residence. parents? Yeah, residence. It's a house. No, with, not with my parents. With your, your siblings? Siblings, yes, Your Honor. With your siblings? How many siblings? I have one younger brother with me living right now and uh, one that was in and out. Who else lives there? Well, my mom was staying there for a while, too. <laughs> Now, in this whirlwind relationship, Mr. Samuvita, and in your residence with your brothers and other relatives and your mother in and out, how many times did Miss David sleep over at your house? She never slept over your house. I just want to know that. In this whirlwind, Miss David never slept at your house. She had an apartment. Just a second. She had an apartment. Yes, Your Honor. But you know what she didn't have? A purple mattress. That's right. <laughs> Yes, Your Honor, you're right. That's right. You didn't have an apartment, you had a purple mattress. She had an apartment, no purple mattress. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I think about that? I'm For not somebody sure who's a health mean. person who cares about their sleep and what they put inside their body. Yes, Your Honor. Would probably like to sleep at her house on a purple mattress. <laughs> Oh, I mean, if it was going to be a couple nights, uh, I'm not too, you know, particular <laughs> about. I mean, I wasn't staying at her house okay. all the time. Fine. Was... Listen, I actually believe that he told you to get the mattress. So you're home free on the mattress. You're not home free on the car. The car is yours. You want to know why? First of all, the mattress was very expensive. And I don't think that you bought it out of spite because it's just too coincidental that he has a residence where you never stayed over. But he likes good juice and he likes good mattress. <laughs> so it makes perfect sense to me that he would tell you to get a purple mattress. But you have a counterclaim, and your counterclaim is that he's been annoying you and stalking you and harassing you. So if one of the things that's irritating him is this $362 that he paid to have your car serviced so you could have peace of mind, why don't you pay him for it? Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Just makes sense to me. If you decided that you didn't want to have anything else to do with him, which is what you said. Yes, ma'am. And you want him out of your hair, why would you maintain an irritant? Do you know what I mean? That irritant is a $362 that you owe him. So, judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $362, and we're done with your harassment. We're done.